One hand check. The souvenir of this first flight, uh, you, you feel the emotion, of course, during the flight, but you feel it much more after. When you are back on ground, you all the guys which were there, and many, how many thousands of people were there on the ground watching the takeoff, watching the landing, and so on. It was uh, really uh, uh, a key milestone also to be able to fly before the Bourget. We have seen all the power of Airbus, all the people uh, taking uh, this. Uh, this for them, that's the objective, that's the target of the year, and yes, we will do it. And we've made it first, and second, we were there in, in Le Bourget uh, a week after for a low flight path, 500 feet over the thousand of people which were there in Le Bourget. It's impressive how this flight test campaign has been uh, intensive. Um, today, more or less, we are close to uh, 2,000 uh, flight hours, which is quite uh, a big number of flight hours. I would not have imagined uh, to be at that time uh, uh, so close to that target. And if I looked at uh, what are the last uh, important milestones uh, that we've been uh, through, you have the water trough test, also called uh, what we call the swimming pool test for the aircraft. We have had also the noise flight test campaign yeah. test in Moron. We have had the naturalizing test, where, where we bring the aircraft inside the bad clouds. We are creating ice on the, on the shapes of the aircraft also. We can speak also about the first early long flights with passengers. So we had two flights and they flew 250 people each flight, one flight during day conditions, one flight during night conditions. And I would like also to stress, uh, to highlight the McKinley test, and uh, that's quite important not for certification, because we can certify uh, without that, but for maturity. Because at the end, what we would like to, to, uh, to certify is an aircraft which is mature. For our customers, we should not only target about the type certificate, but also about the reliability of the aircraft. What's next now? Um, it's about MSN5, essentially. We have the aircraft now, and then uh, we have to focus on the certification flights that will perform with this aircraft because this is the aircraft which has uh, all the last modification, which is representative of the type certificate. And uh, we know that we have a flight test campaign, uh, which would bring us uh, up to the route proving, or the functional and reliability testing uh, with this aircraft all over the world. So it's a very important milestone that would happen over the summer. And uh, for that, we did MSN5.